on, son. Hey, hey there, guys. We're here with the Bell H1 Huey from Aerosoft. Uh, second I stepped into this guy, I think guys, lovely airplane. It's like, oh, so amazing. All right, let's get her. Let's get her doors closed up. We're gonna leave the back ones open because, well, the back ones always had the epic open doors. We can't remove them, sadly. Let's see, if we can go cold and dark and ready to go. All right, battery switch. Where's the batteries at in this thing? Well, you're gonna hear that a little bit. Why? Experiment. All right, man, master batteries up here. Let me turn them on. Yeah. You're also gonna hear that first time. That'll kick in automatic when the blade starts spinning. Generators on. Battery on. Alright, bleed air. Alright. We are ready to rock and roll to my knowledge. Fuel is set to on. Starter engage. Down there is your run uh, your hook, so you can probably sub that in for the cables. Alright, we'll do a, uh, we'll take we'll fly over to the NASA and we'll stop there and we'll swap it with bird dog EPH. I love to see it, this is like the best yes in the MS. It's so sporty. Ferrari if it
looking at the flying enemy for flying to the max. This is worse. I mean, you can open those doors, close them. And it looks so cool back then, because I was just playing this. This helicopter was a good helicopter. Helicopters. This is my favorite helicopter right here. We'll swing in around at the NASA facility and land right by the F-16. As you can see, we're slowly bleeding off our airspeed. Which is actually nice compared to how uh, most flights in hel X helicopters as an uncanny thing that they'll do. They're very, very speed inducing. Like, they will pick up speed like no tomorrow. Let's just say we're coming over to inspect NASA's area here. Alright, NASA, are you doing illegal things here? We're not doing illegal things, or we'll come and get you. I'm coming in the line to inspect. Class is cute, you know. She does her job. She's contract. Trying to force her to her job. Vietnam, she did her job. She goes the blade slow down. Arrow softs her guy at red. Get the piece of the blade pitch and grease. Blades, we can turn, pull back, up, down. And I'll see you guys for the bird bump. Yeah, it re 
resets every time you lose the ball. Well, let's shut it back off. We'll get started as soon as we open the back doors because I just love running the back doors. I am announcing Dead Space 2 on Beast Mode. That's correct, folks. We're revisiting Dead Space 2. But on Beast Mode because I have completed the game. Alright, why isn't she starting? Fuel's on. Um... Start back up. Let's get airborne. Get a good shot at low poly. Epic shot from our home base there. Look at that little shot of the Huey taking off and getting ready to head home. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, there's a lot of views here. Oh, yeah, one on the tail. One on the skid. Oh, there's supposed to be a gun there. <laughs> Trail. Right wing. Left <laughs> They forgot to reprogram the camera view location names because we're not on. We don't have wings. See, there's no, no flaps. Let's get back over there. I know I'm not doing flying this thing correctly, guys, but it's a good airplane. It flies soft and clean, just like the uh, any helicopter you want. Okay, look we'll at full power. Look at the climbing. Two to put a minute flying. Look at the scent rate I'll get. Just kidding. Yes, Dead Space 2 and Beast Mode is basically me going through the game with my new game plus twice. I'm going to get the game again and get the new game plus from that. And I'm going to fully upgraded weaponry and everything in the first half of the game is going to be... How should you play Dead Space if you were a god? And I'll probably eventually do a walkthrough of it. Again, just an actual walkthrough because the first one was kind of a playthrough. But that's only if I get some comments saying that it's funny. The beast mode is just me having fun. Alright, we're approaching our home base here. Let's slow our speed a little. Yep, you guys know what commentary is next. It was foreshadowed. B-47's all repaired, she's ready to rock and we're ready to show.
as the Vietnam War, a lot of our heroes in that war, a lot of our men, when they came back, they were treated like garbage because they're because their voice eventually started hating the war itself. Guys, Folks, oh, the old warbirds of the west. Okay, I'm not sure if they're the west, but yeah. B47 Major Axe, I'm on our holiday commentary. Sayonara, no Stunya, whatever you're going to do from. See you guys later.